So in order to be able to create new band along with album, we are going to extend create band. So let's go to our DTO for band for creating DTOs, because currently we have these three properties there. But because we want to be able to create albums with the band, we are going to add another property there. And this is going to be a collection of all albums that we are creating for this band. So it's going to be a property of I collection. And the type here is the DTO for creating new album. So that is the album for creating DTO. That is the type that we will have here. And I'll just call it albums. And in order to avoid null reference exceptions, since this is gonna be a collection, we can instantiate it here. So it's gonna be a new list of type album for creating DTO. So now we have a list of albums available to be created with the band. So let's go to the band controller now. And here we simply pass in the band itself. And then we call the add band method in the repository. We don't actually have to make any change in our controller for create band because everything is handled in the repository and the mapper. Let me just show you how. Let's go to the repository. In the repository we simply have the band object and adding it to the context. So when we open our band.cs, so this is our entity for the band, it actually has the collection of albums right there. So far we didn't use it, so it was not mapped into our DTO. However, since we now added it to this DTO for creating the band, the collection from the entity will be now mapped to this collection in the DTO. So everything is already in place to start creating the band as well as all the albums for the band. So let's test this. So let's go to post and we'll simply go to our API slash bands. But we have to enter, of course, the band and the albums into the body. So let's create a JSON for the body. So the first we enter the band and it has few properties. It has the name and I'll call this one testing band creation. The second one is founded, which is the date when the band was founded. And let's just make it today, so that's going to be 2019, December 8. Then we have the main genre, and let's make this rock. And now we enter the albums. So we have our albums property now in the DTO, and it's a collection. So we use the brackets, and let's enter the first one. So the album for creating DTO has two properties. The first one is the title and let's just call this one title one and it has the description of the album and let's just call this description one so that's our first album and let's add another and this one of course will have a title as well and it's gonna be title two and it's gonna be description and description two. Oh, except I just noticed I misspelled main genre so let me fix that and let's run this and we have 201 created and here is the band you can see it's testing band creation that's the name of the band and it's rock I'll copy the ID and when we go to bands slash the band ID and go to get we should get the band and you can see here is the band so now let's get the albums for this band so let's add slash albums click send and you can see now we have these two albums that we created along with the band. We have the title one and title two and description one and description two. So we were able to create a single band and all the albums for the band in one go. So next let's have a look how to create a collection of bands in a single API call.